Hi, I'm Midnight Mule and I wanted to do a short video about the MBTI and how I found it helpful. Now I'm fully aware that some people, especially professionals, rubbish the MBTI and that's fair enough because they know a lot more about these things than I do, I guess. So I want to look at a couple of quick websites and I get to why I found the MBTI useful. So first, quick copyright notice because I'm going to be looking at some websites. This first one, a quick clip from YouTube by Jordan Peterson and what he thinks about the MBTA. So I would say the Myers-Briggs should be relegated to the dustbins of the past because it's a defunct and archaic instrument and it, it's no longer properly valid. And so um, that's that. So there you go. <laughs> he doesn't rate the MBTI. I will leave a link to this video in the comments below. You, it's very easy online to find people who are critical of the MBTI for various reasons. There's the professionals who, as he says, just finds it defunct and there are way better tools out there. Some people on religious grounds don't like it. So it's based on the work of Carl Jung here. And he was into some question, questionable things if you're, say, a particular Bible believer, for example. So he was into the paranormal and seances and various other things that people of certain religious persuasions would find um, questionable or distasteful. On his work, Myers-Briggs built on his work to come up with the MBTI. Here they are. This is Catherine Cook Briggs and Isabel Briggs. So uh, there are various tests online you can do to find out what your MBTI is. The one that I like and I encourage other people to use when they take the test for my sake is this one. It's 16personalities.com. Uh, it's got lots of information about it. I'm already on the take the test page. You answer these questions. So for example, you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. If you're an Aspie, you're going to be clicking that. And you go through, you answer all, however many questions there are. And at the end, it will give you a four letter code which explains who you are. And so there are 16 types and for each of the 16 types there are certain traits you'd expect to meet with them. Now before I knew the MBTI in my mind there was one type of person everyone fitted into one box and I'd summarize that as being shallow and insincere and that's because I'd noticed that people say things they don't mean they seem to ask questions and they didn't really care about the answer they were offended by things that were just the truth and it was very confusing for me. Now, when I found out about the MBTI and then some people did it and I found out what they were, then I read about those 16 types. I could understand people a lot better and I now have 16 boxes for people rather than one. So someone like my brother, who's a neurotypical, he doesn't need the MBTI. He can chat to somebody and very quickly he can figure out what they like, what they don't like, and he can come across as being very pleasant and agreeable whoever he's talking to and that's because he's an ENTJ for those who know he's not he's an ENFJ the social Jedi so that's why he does that but for an INTJ something that was very good about this for example was if I meet another INTJ or ENTJ I know I can just get straight to the conversation straight to what's important but if I know I'm interacting with someone who's one of the SFSJs for example I should probably expect a bit of small talk and if I went straight into what's important to me they might be offended because I didn't ask about their weekend etc. Anyway I think that's all I wanted to say for now. I might give more details in a later video. So although the MBTI is rubbished by some professionals it is used by millions of people so a lot of people know what their MBTI is. If you know yours leave me a comment below. It'd be interesting to see what MBTI Aspies are in various neurotypicals. Uh, but it's useful for me because I now have 16 types of people in my head rather than one type of person. So leave comments if you find the MBTI useful or if you think it's complete rubbish. Thanks.